this is Sarah or Water Lily 716 and today I'm doing a very pretty half up style. You could definitely wear this casually or wear it to a formal occasion depending on how you accessorize it. I wore it to a flamingo bar. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do is section off the part of your hair that you want to braid. Um, the half up part. So this effectively means that you have to section off the bottom part. Um, but I just pretty much got the top half of my hair. Um, at least the parts right by the front of my face, and then I tied the bottom part with a hair tie. Then we're going to go ahead and start rope braiding. Take a very small set section right by your part and split that section into two. Then we're going to twist both sections away from our face. Then we're going to take the front section and move it behind the back section. Twist them a little more and repeat this step of moving the front section behind the back section. Then we're going to start rope, French rope braiding. What we were doing just now was rope braiding. Add some hair to both sections. So add some to the back and twist it away from your face. Add some to the front and twist it away to your, from your face. Remember you're twisting both strands the same way. And then we're going to move that front section under the back section. Again, like that. Um, and then I'm going to rope braid normally once more. Just twisted the front section behind the back section really quick. And then we're going to continue French rope braiding, so we're adding in more hair. Um, so just add hair to the back section, twist away from your face, and then add another small section to your front piece and twist that away from your face. And try to keep the braid close to your head as well as tight, so keep it nice and twisted. Um, and I always rope braid once normally after I add in hair, I just like to do it like that. Then I'm just going to repeat this process over and over, um, adding hair to both sections, twisting them. Then you twist that strand under, and then I rope braid once more just for kicks. Rope braid normally in between. And you're just going to continue doing this until you reach the end of all your hair. If you are having trouble getting the hang of these two braids, you can of course request basic tutorials from me. Um, I can definitely do those for you guys, but also check out Torin Page's French braid rope braiding tutorial because that is where I learned how to French braid French rope braid from on YouTube. I'll try and link that. But once you get to the end level of your hair, you're just going to normally rope braid, which is easier. You're twisting both strands away from your face and putting the front one behind the back one and just keep twisting all the way to the end so you have a good tension on the braid um, and I'm just going to finish that up and then I'm going to take a small clear um, hair tie and I'm going to tie off the end of that braid then I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side of my head and I'll explain it again for you guys so you always start with two sections for a rope braid and you twist both strands the same way and then you put one underneath the other one. Um, it kind of depends on, I think you can do them on the other way, but I usually just do both away from my face when I do rope braids right by my face. Um, and remember to always put the front one underneath the back one. As long as you kind of get the steps down, um, it will become easy. It is very confusing at first, um, which is why I recommend maybe if you haven't done any rope braiding before you try this style, um, definitely don't try to do the style right before an event if you've never had any experience. But learn how to rope braid first and then learn how to French rope braid. But I will say that French rope braiding is much easier on a smaller scale like this than trying to do your whole entire head. It's kind of hard. Um, so I just incorporated all the hair from that side of my head and I am normal braiding down this side. Um, and if you want, you can just braid one side of your head, but I think this style looks really pretty with both sides of your head braided. Um, so yeah, then I'm going to take another hair tie, and I already tied off the end of that other braid, but now I'm going to tie these two braids together, so we get this really pretty effect of the braids in the back of our hair. And then I'm going to let out my hair, and I'm going to start fixing the style up a little bit. I'm going to pin any bits of my hair that are out of place, and yada yada yada. Um, I really like working with rope braids for my hair. Here I'm just taking out the rope braids um, because they're really easy to do on dry curly hair, which not a lot aren't. Here I'm just going to refresh my curls and I'm going to add a little bit of Kiki Curly Notch Day Conditioner available at Target. 
Um, my hair was already wet down before I added these styling products in. And I added in and I twirl a few curls around my fingers to give them back a little bit more shape. That's just for moisture. For a little bit of shine, I'm going to take some Desert Essence Jojoba Oil, available at Whole Foods, I believe. And I'm going to just smooth that over all of my hair. And this will give it a little bit of shine. And then to top off this style, I'm going to use this from Born Pretty Store. Um, it's really pretty and it's very cheap. The quality is just okay, but it's so pretty with all of the plastic jewels and everything. Um, so I just go ahead and clamp that on top. Um, it doesn't work super well on its own, but it works really well to finish off a hap up style like this. Um, and I will leave the link below about where you can get it and a discount code as well. Um, but that is the finished hairstyle. I hope you guys like this. I hope that if some of you have prom coming up, this is a good style for you. Also check out the rest of the hairstyle playlist. Um, and that is all. Please leave any questions you have down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!